Hello everybody, this is Maniac for Bricks. As if I didn't already spend six and a half hours yesterday of going through everything LEGO news I found on Brickset over the past few days, including the May the 4th promos going on right now at the LEGO store, there's more. I just saw this. It apparently got posted about uh, less than an hour ago. So uh, let's see what else we're up to. So Harry Potter warning as well for those who aren't interested. I totally understand if you skip this video or skip through this video, um, trans rights or human rights either way, but let's go right to it. But I did also talk a little bit about some of HP yesterday on live stream. Some of that will be coming up on YouTube as its own um, long, long, long video. I don't even know if I've ever had a stream that's six hours long intentionally. So uh, how about that? All right, what else we got? Oh, we got more Arctic. Oh, cool. All right. <laughs> Damn it. I had to keep saying cool when I talk about Arctic things. It's really not intentional. I don't mean that as a pun on purpose. <laughs> I've been doing that for years. Even like Mr. Freeze stuff. Like, okay, sure, whatever. So anyways, I for those who didn't see on the live stream, I love the Arctic line that's coming out. And I love the fact that it also has a diver's element to it. Those are like my two favorite recurring sub-themes from uh, LEGO City. I like a lot of them for the summer waves in general, but... But those two that keep returning and keep improving for the most part, I like that there's now one that combines both. So it's like, ah, you're tugging on my wallet. Oh my gosh. So now we have a little more of the conventional Arctic style. So it's not as diver oriented, but still looks pretty good. It's a large plow. We've got a small base to go with it. And it's 489 pieces. We don't know the price yet, do we? Okay, now. If I were to guess... I would say this is probably somewhere between $50 and $60. Considering the fact that there's a lot of Arctic sets that are coming out for the Summer Wave, I feel like the pricing for them might be a little bit more generous because we're not going to have as few sets as we used to have with uh, a lot of Summer Waves. You know, usually there'll be like four or five sets that would come out during the summer and they'll be around for like a year, sometimes half a year, and they'll be expensive especially because they have a lot of animal molds or brand new items or whatever. This one seems on the little more conventional side as far as the construction. Um, maybe a few pieces here and there that seem new to me, if I can zoom in here. I can't really zoom in on the phone, at least this way. Um, the only things I can really recognize as new things are like that, that piece that wraps around the window on the base. I've never seen that before, but I could be mistaken. And we have the... Um, the bear cubs. Those are really cool. I don't think we've had bear cubs in Lego City before. We've definitely had them in Lego Friends a long time ago. Um, you got this nice rock piece to go with it with a meteorite, it, it seems like something, you know, some kind of crystal in there. So that's cool. Um, don't mind that. <clears throat> so nice to have that stuff together. Um, it's a nice little package. So yeah, I'm estimating this between $50 or $60 just on the merit of, you know, what I've seen before, a little bit based on the price per piece, but mostly based on what they offer in here and how LEGO City summer themes tend to work. Um, I do want to see more of the inside, which I feel like I've been saying about every freaking set for six hours, but I do. They don't show interiors for a lot of these photos, even as like an alternate photo or something. It's like, how are you going to have this vehicle or you know this big open or this big thing that you know can play inside and not show what the inside is like at least initially maybe there'll be more photos later so hopefully i can get that figured out um meanwhile that door looks really small something about that seems a little off i'm not sure exactly something yeah it's only four bricks tall why i don't know why it's said tall like that but I guess it's enough to fit a figure in there. I'm not sure. I'm assuming that the back of it is open or there's a way to remove the roof in order to get inside of it or something. But interesting nonetheless. Okay. Uh, Harry Potter, a new Hogwarts Express. I believe this was rumored a while ago. So now we finally see something about it. Um, okay. It almost feels juniorized for some reason. 
like the the cab itself engine whatever the word is i'm not a train expert pardon me on that um it feels smaller like not only the width of it feels smaller but also the length of it seems smaller than i can recall before but then again i might be confusing it with the ucs version which is you know way massive um so it's got a lot of minifigures to it and it's definitely in the in the way of being a first year kind of thing like based more on the the philosopher's stone than other films or books um which is kind of like in a in a mainstream sense okay this makes sense it's the most familiar thing but we keep getting that over and over like constantly the only times i've really seen the hogwarts express set change in the you know almost 20 years that it's been around is the um prisoner of azkaban they had two of them released one without the train motor and with a sm- and like a smaller platform instead of a building and then the the large one which was you know i had hogsmeade and um you know more robust layout so why don't we get one of those i'm not really sure you know we've had prisoner of azkaban sets recently so this would tie in with that a bit i don't know there was also one of them that was based on um chamber of secrets so i'll give it credit there that you know they've included the the weasley's car with the hogwarts express before and had luna love good available with the set so it does change but very va- like very little over time it's one of those kinds of things for this franchise that it's like here's an iconic vehicle that we're pretty much going to make the same concepts even though it's been in multiple like places and iterations over time it's always going to look the same it's just the one that people gravitate towards so be it and you know we don't have the old version of the hogwarts express from 2018 still around so i guess this is their substitute like oh if you missed it out then even though it's been around for like several years here you go i do like that it still has the hidden side track piece where you can roll it off of the train tracks and just glide it across the floor I do like that still being a function, and it gives you two of them in this set, too. That's actually really neat. Um, Only, like, four straight tracks, it looks like. So, yeah. Um, Okay. That's, if it's enough to carry it, I guess that works. Um, Interesting having the small wheels on the front of the train. I don't think I've seen that before on a Hogwarts Express, or for LEGO trains in general. So, that looks really nice. Um... Uh, the rest of it, for, like, the platform, is okay. The weird thing that I never fully understood... Oh, wait, it does say Hogsmeade. Ah, I'm so blind. <laughs> it's right there. Right there. Hogsmeade Station. I should have read that, and I didn't. I just looked at the pictures first. So, everything I just said about, oh, they do the same thing, forget that. <laughs> I'm going to keep it in. I don't mind making mistakes. I understand I made a mistake and I can move on from there. So this is fine. This is good. I just realized I looked at the figures first and thought, oh, they're like the first years. But I guess technically they've went at a younger state anyway. So it's it's fine. And at least it gives you another set with Hagrid because I don't know if there's any sets um, currently on shelves with Hagrid or if it is just one or two. Um like, not recently, so this is okay, and that's it, okay, (laughs) Hogwarts Express is becoming the next X-Wing fighter, yeah, pretty much what I was trying to say, but, uh, at least they're trying something different with this one, unlike a lot of Star Wars vehicles, where, in my opinion, it changes very subtly between so many iterations, Luke's Land Speeder, for example, Uh, You can tell differences if you're following from one to the next, but in a general first glance, it looks almost the same. It's, I don't know. So, okay, we get two sets, two sets this time around that I spent, what, 10 minutes talking about? I didn't even look at the timer. (laughs) That was, that was pure luck. Um, Okay, fine. Yeah, I'm not particularly sure about getting the Hogwarts Express it's in the same vein as I've talked about with Star Wars that like 
This theme has been around so long. It had so many different versions. And I've grown up with the older versions mm -hmm. of the models. It doesn't really matter to me of getting the latest one all the time or having every copy of it or anything like that. I have the 2001 version of Hogwarts Express. I think I even have two copies of it. One of them that's just obliterated in pieces, but I could rebuild it if I wanted to. Um, one of them that's still like used to complete. And uh, I'm fine with that one still being around. And even for my layout, I only really need one train at a time. And I have three, four, maybe four trains that I could circulate between. So it doesn't really um, matter to me of, of this one. But for those who haven't gotten it already, it's, uh, it's there for you. It's definitely, you know, robust. For, from what the uh, the last one it had nine and three quarters, and had a larger um, track station to it, but this one gives you more minifigures, a couple different ones, and at least the design is different from what we've seen before. So okay, that's fine. The Arctic set, I'm you know leaning towards it because I'm leaning towards a lot of the Arctic you know summer wave stuff, but. Uh, haven't determined on this one just yet. It's a little more conventional than some of the other sets, so I'm not as persuaded as the other ones, but it's still a nice design for what it is. So uh, we'll leave it at that. I, I feel like we've had a snow groomer kind of like that. Um, I want to say like 2019 or so, 2020 maybe, um, with a little bit of upgrade here and a color scheme that changed. So, I don't know. I'm also, yeah, I'm basing the 5060 on that because it's like, if that whole portion was $20 on its own, without counting the extra minifigs, the bears, uh, the cubs, the, the bears, <laughs> the, uh, the meteorite, and this other platform, you know, that's probably going to be at least twice as much. So, uh... So, yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, they mentioned in here the last one that they had at Hogsmeade with the Hogwarts Express was um, the 10132, the uh, motorized one. I did actually go through this one at one time. I did not actually review it, although I've taken pictures of some things here and there. I like the little chocolate pieces that they had at the time, the one by two tiles with chocolate on them. Um, it was a decent build, and this one, again, was like the other Hogwarts that we've had before that point, but a little more robust because it gives you the tender and, of course, the motor and so on to operate the train. It was a big box, too. It's kind of nice. Um, and the building was an okay size. It had a couple places to do things and little nooks and crannies to open, but uh, I don't remember it being, like, remarkable either. So there we have it. Two more sets. The given my rough thoughts about them, first impressions kind of things. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you do want to check out some of the other ones I've covered, I will post that video as soon as I can. Um, it's six hours long. I will try to put timestamps in there to um, mark off for different themes and everything like that. I have done some summaries of them as well. You can check those out on my YouTube shorts. And uh, there may be more of those coming soon. Just getting all that out there. So if I don't pick up the sets right away, you might have a better understanding why. So, later.